With the PlayStation 5 Pro's design and specs finally leaked, is Sony about to revolutionize gaming once again? Let's break down everything we know so far and what it means for gamers worldwide. Welcome to today's deep dive into the latest leaks surrounding the PlayStation 5 Pro. If you're a dedicated gamer or just someone keeping an eye on the latest tech, you're in the right place. The gaming world has been buzzing with speculation, rumors, and a healthy dose of anticipation, all leading up to what could be the most exciting console release of the year. Before we jump into the details, I'd love for you to engage with this video. Hit that like button if you're excited for what's coming next, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to stay updated with the latest news in the gaming universe. So, let's get into it. Do you think the PlayStation 5 Pro will break the $600 mark? I've seen a lot of speculation and some heated debates about this, especially with the possibility of a 2TB drive being included. Could we be looking at a more expensive, more powerful iteration of the already impressive PS5? Cast your vote in the comments. Yes or no, will the PlayStation 5 Pro be $600 or more? I'm genuinely curious to see what you all think, so don't hold back. Initial leaks and speculations. Now, let's rewind a little and talk about how we got here. The first leaks about the PlayStation 5 Pro started trickling in a while ago, with many of us speculating on what Sony might have up its sleeve. The rumors ranged from wild guesses to more informed speculations, with the consensus being that Sony would undoubtedly look to enhance the already powerful PlayStation 5. Given the competitive landscape, it was only a matter of time before Sony pushed the boundaries further. The idea of a PlayStation 5 Pro wasn't far-fetched, it was expected. And now, thanks to recent leaks, we're getting a clearer picture of what this new console might look like. According to the latest reports, the PlayStation 5 Pro design has been leaked, and it looks surprisingly similar to the PS5 Slim, something that many, including myself, had speculated. The design isn't just about aesthetics, though. It's about performance, about pushing the limits of what we thought was possible in console gaming. One of the first things that caught everyone's attention was the potential inclusion of a 2TB drive. This immediately raised questions about the price point. Could this version of the console really justify a price tag of $600 or more? Given the current market trends and the ever-increasing demand for higher storage, it's not out of the realm of possibility. But of course, until Sony confirms these details, we're left to speculate. Enjoying the content? Make sure to subscribe for more valuable insights. And if this video helped you, hit that like button and share it with others. Detailed breakdown of the leak. Let's get into the specifics of the leak. Over at Deal Labs, one of the most credible sources for early information, the PlayStation 5 Pro details were shared, giving us a glimpse into what Sony has been working on. Although the exact visual of the console wasn't released for copyright reasons, they did provide a sketch based on the final packaging box. The design, as it turns out, mirrors much of what we've seen with the PS5 Slim, but with some notable differences. First, there's the thickness, this Pro version is slightly thicker than the Slim, which could suggest more powerful hardware under the hood. The front of the console features the same iconic white exterior, with two USB-C ports and the power button positioned as expected. What really stands out, however, are the three black stripes in the middle of the console's exterior. This design choice, while subtle, hints at a more aggressive cooling system, possibly an indication of the enhanced performance we can expect from the Pro model. Another point of interest is the disk drive, or rather, the uncertainty surrounding it. The leak suggests that the PS5 Pro might follow in the footsteps of the PS5 Slim by offering a diskless version. However, it's also possible that Sony will offer a version with a disk drive, catering to those who prefer physical media. This could be a strategic move to keep costs down while still offering a premium product. Then there's the controller, or lack of change, to be precise. The PlayStation 5 Pro will reportedly include the same DualSense controller that we've come to know and love. While some might see this as a missed opportunity for innovation, it's also a testament to the quality of the current DualSense design. Sony seems confident that the existing controller is already the best fit for their next-gen console. Release date speculations. 
Now, let's talk about the release date. This is where things get really interesting. According to the leak, Sony plans to announce the PlayStation 5 Pro in the first half of September 2024. This timeline is eerily similar to the release pattern we saw with the PS4 Pro, which adds some weight to this speculation. If the announcement does happen in the first week of September, we could be looking at a launch that's just around the corner, possibly even within a few weeks of the announcement. The question is, how will Sony choose to reveal this new console? Will it be through a grand event, or could they drop it quietly and let the product speak for itself? I'm leaning towards a more formal announcement. Given the scale of what the PS5 Pro represents, it seems likely that Sony would want to host an event where they can dive into the details, showcasing the advancements and improvements that this new console brings to the table. This isn't just a minor upgrade, it's a significant step forward in the evolution of the PlayStation brand, and that deserves a proper spotlight. What to expect from the PlayStation 5 Pro? So, what can we expect from the PlayStation 5 Pro? Based on the information we have, this console is shaping up to be a powerhouse. The increased storage capacity is a huge plus, especially for gamers who are tired of juggling game installs. A 2TB drive could mean more space for those massive AAA titles without constantly worrying about deleting games to make room for new ones. Performance-wise, the Pro is expected to offer smoother gameplay, faster load times, and enhanced graphics. If you're someone who values top-tier performance, this could be the console for you. The additional thickness of the console suggests better cooling mechanisms, which is crucial for maintaining performance during long gaming sessions. Another aspect to consider is the price. If the PlayStation 5 Pro does indeed come in at $600 or more, Sony will need to justify this cost with significant upgrades. We could be looking at enhanced ray tracing capabilities, better frame rates, and possibly even native 8K support. These are all things that could push the console into the premium price range. However, the biggest question remains, will there be different versions of the Pro? A digital-only version priced at $499 and a disc-based version at $600 could offer consumers more choices, making the Pro more accessible to a wider audience. Section 5. The Gaming Community's Reaction Let's take a moment to talk about the reaction within the gaming community. As always, news of a new console brings out a wide range of opinions. Some are thrilled at the prospect of a more powerful PlayStation while others are concerned about the price and whether the upgrades are worth it. One of the most common questions I've seen is whether the PS5 Pro is a necessary upgrade for those who already own a PS5. This is a valid concern, especially if the Pro comes with a hefty price tag. If you're someone who's satisfied with your current PS5, the Pro might not be a must-have. However, for those who want the latest and greatest, the PS5 Pro could offer enough improvements to warrant the investment. The design itself has also sparked a lot of discussions. The similarities to the PS5 Slim have led some to wonder if Sony is playing it too safe. However, others appreciate the continuity in design, viewing it as a sleek and modern update rather than a complete overhaul. Section 6. My Predictions and Final Thoughts Now, here's where I share my thoughts and predictions. Based on everything we've seen and heard, I'm confident that the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be a hit. The combination of increased storage, better performance, and a sleek design makes it an appealing option for gamers who want the best experience possible. I do think that Sony will offer different versions of the Pro, catering to both the digital-only crowd and those who prefer physical media. The pricing will be critical, though. If Sony can keep the base model at $499, they'll have a winner on their hands. The $600 version, with all the bells and whistles, will appeal to hardcore gamers and tech enthusiasts. As for the release, I'm betting on a September announcement, followed by a launch in early October. This timeline fits with Sony's past release strategies and gives them plenty of time to build up hype before the holiday season. In the end, the PlayStation 5 Pro is shaping up to be an exciting addition to the PlayStation family. Whether you're planning to upgrade or not, there's no denying that this console will be a game-changer. Conclusion So, what do you think? 
Are you excited about the PlayStation 5 Pro? Do you think it's worth the potential $600 price tag? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love reading your insights and hearing your predictions. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep gaming.